sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, your comments, your prayers, your healing, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like swimwear. I want to remind people I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a mini-me but want to be better than me, a WhatsApp bandit, an English professor, a voodoo high priest, a bigot, a racist, and a know-it-all, all floating through my comments section please if you feel like somebody is overstepping their boundaries leaving you comments you don't want to be bothered go ahead and exercise your free will and block that person there's always three little dots next to someone's comment if you feel like this person is doing too much go ahead and uh, block them report their comment report any porn or any slander or anything like that that's in the comment section okay my uh, readings are closed any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading will be in the comment sections below well not in the comment section excuse me <clears throat> in the description box below next to the subscription bell all right if you click that little arrow facing downward there is a whole bunch of information in there including a, w a website where you can receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. Oh, my cards is all, all in the turferco here. So, yeah. Um, thank you to all my lower viewers and subscribers. Thank you for your donations. Again, I really do appreciate all of you. All right. Now, I want to remind uh, individuals also that I do not solicit anyone for their services if you need to get in contact with me that information will be in the description box below also i like to to say that if my content is not helping you you don't have to watch okay i don't need any slick underhanded backhanded compliments and things of that sort i'm not the person to troll because i'm i'm truly here trying to help Okay, and so I know that social media is a breeding ground for negativity, but this is not a negative uh, channel, despite what I channel through these readings. I channel because people ask for help, right? And Universal Life Force Source sends people to help you. It, it's up to you if you want to take the advice or not. I'm hearing take the bait, take the bait. What I feel like collective here, some of you, you may have people emailing you, DMing you, or something like that. I'm not, I, I don't solicit. I don't DM people. I'm a very private person. When I get off of this platform, I focus on my child <clears throat> and the things that I have to do. We, there was some confusion in this reading, okay, with the Seven of Cups being here. Somebody could be a Taurus. Somebody definitely is a Taurus, a high priest. That is Pisces, Cancer, Energy. We also have... Uh, two of cups here. Somebody could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but some of you, you're dealing with your complete opposite. Opposites attract to learn lessons. Like attracts light, <clears throat> but opposites attract to learn lessons. It's a lot of upside down cards, and this is very interesting here. So somebody in the past, present, or future, this may or may not resonate with you. Parts may resonate with you. Parts may not. Take what's for you. Leave the rest. This could easily be somebody in your environment because I don't believe that my star seeds, my elect ones, my chosen ones would be reversed like this, okay? <clears throat> we have Taurus, Capricorn spells here that could indicate passion. It could either, it could be any sign, but it, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius is what I'm getting, okay? So someone couldn't, someone didn't want you to be able to decipher what was coming towards you. You had to use your intuition. Somebody was hired possibly to block someone's finances with the high priestess being here okay this is also seven of cups this is taurus energy we have capricorn all right somebody could have did some sort of spell work to send a false lover or to send a karmic individual your way with the two of cups for some of you this is a soulmate it doesn't have to be something that is sexual sexual based it could be a platonic 
relationship. It could be mother, fi father, child, grandparent, okay, co-worker even, okay? So somebody who is currently thinking about speaking some truth here with the Two of Cups. This could be somebody from your past, a past life. Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody was weighing some sort of options in the past, okay? Um, well, with the option, possibly two different lovers, okay? A choice to stay or go or something like that. This person is in regret because they made the wrong choice. For, for a lot of you, that's going to resonate with this reading. Somebody did some alchemy, okay? They sent some spell work uh, and, it, and it came back to them. Yes, we know that this is the channel that we're. It all comes. It, it all comes out. I can't help that. That's what I'm here to do, and I'm gonna do my job proudly. Okay. Somebody wanted to end something. Okay. Possibly your finances. Possibly the way people view you. This person refused to change. Here, you may need to check your eighth house. Some of you could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your eighth house, as well as Cap, um, Cancer. I was going to say Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, or uh, Scorpio as well. Somebody has a real foggy aura. This person, they, they possibly have an odor too because I wanted to say that. Okay. So in the past, this person couldn't... For some of you, you're coming out of an of an illusion after someone tried to place an illusion on you, on your finances, on your love life. Okay. For some of you, you may not know this person. Okay, some of you, you're currently in a, a partnership with someone I'm hearing that you can't trust. Okay, this could also be you collaborating or someone collaborating with individuals against you. We have the emperor and we have the star. Okay, so this is a, a leg one, an emperor, divine masculine here that couldn't make a choice. They possibly had some spell craft, witchcraft, who do, who knew placed on them. This person may have felt like they had a lot of options, especially when it came down to finances. This person could have been stuck in materialism or shallowism here. Somebody is possibly blocked off from observing you with aura being here. Excuse my light, y'all. <clears throat> one of my lights went out and I'm waiting for another one. Um, so some of you, you may have been asking that your energy be blocked off from a soulmate. Okay, possibly your divine masculine is what I'm hearing. But it could be a divine feminine or a feminine or a masculine. Take it how it resonates. Okay. There could have been somebody that went to them or to you and spoke some sort of truth. Why is observation here? This person is no longer able to observe you. This person may have been doing some sort of divination, peering into your Akashic records, appearing into your finances as well, doing background checks, things of that sort. So we got pentacles here. Somebody wanted somebody to be stuck is what I'm getting. We have an emperor that's focusing here. I'm hearing on the chosen one, a elect one, a throne. The world card represents Capricorn. So we got Capricorn here, Capricorn there. Somebody wanted somebody to be like, I, I heard, uh, working like a Hebrew slave, right? With the world card being here. There's a cycle being completed. I feel like there's an emperor. This could be a boss. This could be a father figure. This could be a business owner. Okay, that couldn't make a choice in the past here. This person was caught up in some sort of illusion surrounding a high priestess. This high priestess could have been contracted to do that. We got some more star seeds energy. Some of you, you are, um, again, rainbow children, elect ones, crystals, indigo. You could read oracle. You could read tarot, okay? Or are you getting some sort of confirmation from this reading? Okay, yeah, clarity. We got clarity. We got crystal ball. Oracle and shooting star fire element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Someone wants to present to you an offer after observing you for a while. Okay, so for some of you, somebody that was possibly doing some spell work and then they watch to see if it's working. Now, this is some I hear a lot of people say that on their channel, right? I've had firsthand experience with that where people, um, and, and I got this through social media, okay? Like I want to explain to you when I was in my dark night of the soul, which can be scientifically 
proven through a birth chart if you believe in birth chart okay a lot of times when you're in a dark night of the soul you're also in your saturn return okay it happens 27 28 29 days uh 29 years or something like that okay it's, it, it just depends on where it falls in your chart you don't have to be 50 30 or anything like that it just has to be your cycle i'm not an astrologist so i don't know the specifics of it but this is what this is what this is giving me okay somebody doesn't want somebody doesn't want to end something with you where was this at i feel like this was the, well no i'm gonna put it there somebody doesn't want something to end somebody may be getting some sort of taxation somebody could be stuck in court also somebody may be trying to manifest uh, an ending or they were in the past but there's a beginning here that is delayed for someone i feel like whoever was doing the spell work here they're no longer able to observe you and also like i was going to state early earlier these people that do these type of spell works and let me tell you something if you elect one a chosen one a throne a star seed an earth angel a crystal a crystal an indigo these people are observing you because you guess what you are different from the rest you do not fall into um sim well you're not affected by symbolism somebody put that in my comments and i felt really offended by that because a lot of intellectual people right they want to come to this channel and place their perception of what occult studies is on my channel. This is why I want, uh, I'm encouraging people to subscribe to my Oracle of the Ether channel, which will be in the community section. I'm going to try to reshare a video there so it make it easier because I have my own interpretation of tarot and occult. And it's not going to be from what somebody else, uh, I, I, you know, um, uh, what somebody else uh, put in a book or what somebody else observed, okay? I, too, have watched Bobby Hammett, Dr. Uh, um, Deborah Blair, okay? Uh, um, what is her name? Pukum, Pukum. I watched all those people as well and, and a few others. But my, my stuff is going to come straight from my guides, okay? So when I get these people that study a cult, but they're studying a cult from what they learned, from what they learned and how they learned it. The symbolism rules the world, boo. Okay, when you turn on the TV, when you turn on the radio, everything is a frequency. This whole planet is revolved around symbolism. So don't try to throw that stuff, you know, on my channel. I've had a few people try to do that. That's my manipulation. I'm not trying to manipulate nobody. It either, it either resonates with you or it don't. Don't come over here trying to, because you're not going to win. Like... You're making yourself look foolish because I don't put people name and titles. I don't go after people. This is not a beef. This is not the beef sector. This is not a beef channel. Okay, somebody got an intellectual here. Somebody that's studying you. Falcons could be significant, but this is giving me Horus type of energy. All right, somebody is studying you, trying to figure out they can present an offer. Now, what I do feel collective, you have two individuals, possibly more than two. OK, for some reason, they want to be in your business. I'm hearing obsessed. Why is the five of cups here with the spells and the alchemy in reverse? So now this person has burdens on their back. This person's in grief. They feel unloved after wanting you to feel unloved here. We got the hierophant because somebody's a public, uh, a public leader, a public speaker. This could have something to do with a priest, a Baba, uh, a Sangoma. Take it how it resonates and whatever it is in your part of the world, because I do have people all over the world that watches me. OK, why is five of cups here? These fell on the floor, the chariot and the eight of cups. So there it is. Somebody could be a cancer. Somebody could also have cancer. Okay, is what I'm getting. With the Eight of Cups here. Somebody wants to come in and apologize to you because this person is, is grieving. It's because of some sort of spell work backfire. Now this person is burdened. You're going to gain some sort of clarity possibly about a passing in this reading or going forward. Something is delayed with the Eighth House here in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person, 
<clears throat> somebody has anxiety attacks or somebody's having anxiety thinking about coming towards you. Somebody may also be dream dreaming about their passing here. Somebody's ancestors is taxing, taxing somebody ass. Okay. This is what I'm getting because whoever is doing this, they're obsessed with trying to put energy on you that is not yours. Okay. They're working with three or more people. The power of three. Somebody may be trolling you. You could have had three different individuals come come towards you at in one day. If you have a platform, I'm hearing it's all the same person. This may have been somebody that 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 you blocked. Okay, this person. I'm also here astral projection. For some of you, this person may have at, tried to astral project. Uh, this is somebody that is an occultist. Okay, they may practice uh, Satanism or something like that. Okay, so this person is so egotistical, they feel like they are the embodiment of the devil. All right, that's what I'm getting. Somebody wants to place some sort of burden on your back here. You're going to get some clarity um, regarding that. Some of you, this person can stay in the mountains or, or by the mountains or somebody's traveling through the mountains. Okay, so whatever they sent is definitely coming back. Somebody could be a hauler or something. They could haul stuff. We got eight, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so somebody is holding back communication. They're holding on to some sort of energy. This energy could be like a text. Somebody starting a text or an email and uh, hesitating to send it. This could be about a public figure. This is a Taurus energy here, the high refined, but it could be anybody. And we got a queen of pentacles, definitely Taurus energy. But this is somebody that's focusing on their business. You have possibly um, someone trying to attach themselves to a public figure here for financial gain. This is also collaboration. Somebody's doing something, some sort of sorcery behind somebody's back, whoever this is. Okay. This person may have gotten, somebody could have gotten to an accident. Somebody could be on crutches is what I'm getting as well. This person is definitely waiting for results from some sort of negative energy. But this is showing up in whoever this is life. Whoever's doing this is showing up immediately. I'm hearing there's no way to hide it anymore. This person may have something wrong. I'm hearing internal organs internal organs we have justice here so somebody's heart is being weighed somebody feels burdened here by some sort of truth having to do with a collaboration of two or more people this person had a choice this person has a had a choice somebody may be trying to for some of you this is about a marriage there could be a marriage that's ending there's a new offer that want that somebody wants to come in with a new offer, but whoever this is obsessed with your energy, they're doing something repeatedly. I'm hearing seven days straight, seven days straight. And for some of you, you do not physically know this person. Seven of cups. Why is this here, please? You just know more Zaddy did. Okay. This could have been somebody that you party with in the past or somebody that this person that wants to come towards you party with. Okay. They may have had a, a issue with commitment. I'm hearing a strag along or strag along here. So this is somebody's option that was doing some spell work. You could be a tourist. They could be a tourist. They could also be a high priest. Okay. Or a secret high priest or our high priestess but for some of you this is a uh a mistress okay somebody could also see you as mysterious here we got somebody that wants this individual to go away okay so the plan was for somebody to come towards you or them but they got rejected somebody's definitely going through ptsd here they need to do some shadow work. Somebody was manipulated, mind fucked in the situation by this greedy individual. This person was getting money for putting somebody under some sort of illusion. I'm also hearing guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. 
This could be somebody that this person drunk with. I hear the, the sirens. We got a call, a plot, a setup. So this person is calling, trying to get different practitioners to get involved in the situation, having to do with a soulmate here to cause chaos and conflict in someone's life. Let me see. All right, so we got, uh, when I looked at it, <laughs> it, it seemed like it said happy hour. This could be a coworker for some of you. You could be a bartender. They could go to a bar or a restaurant here. There's some, some place that somebody goes to eat where someone may know somebody's wife or husband. Okay. Somebody's trying to send chaos and conflict. The chicken foot, rooster foot lady. Okay. We got don't die before you are dead in reverse. So somebody feels like they met somebody new or something like that. But what I'm getting is this is a test. This is somebody that was sent by the devil, not by the divine. Okay. We got, what is this? Justice. Somebody could be a Libra. Somebody took a risk on their divine feminine here. This is somebody that's stalking and watching and plotting. This is karma. Somebody could have started dating someone that, that's a restaurant owner. Somebody could have went out to lunch with someone uh, that was under some sort of spell. It's like it's like a setup. Like somebody's sending people false lovers. We got the astral world. Somebody could, could be a producer. They could be a musician. This is a, like a portal here. There was a portal that was open. Somebody could have ate something as well. This could also be lawyers and uh, lawyers and like like people of large institutions coming together and discussing some discussing something. We got the flying monkey card. Somebody is possibly planning to try to call you, ask you to go out here. Somebody's trying to set somebody up. Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, we got the stalker card. So they tried to set someone up in the past. This could be some something, somebody could work with this individual. This could be a celebrity also. Somebody definitely wants an individual to be quiet. There could have been an actual altercation at a work, at a workplace, at, I'm hearing at a job site, a concert or something like that. And I'm also hearing landfill. I don't know why, but somebody, these flying monkeys was stalking an individual at work. Somebody could have been asked to go out to eat. Somebody's trying to set somebody up. Move your ass or, you, or you'll get past. So we got the man here. So this is the person that felt like they had a lot of option, poss options possibly because they are a producer or they do music or something like that. Unfortunately, this is somebody's <laughs> divine masculine. I'm just going to say or masculine. Okay. You may have thought that this was your twin flame. This person may have been under some sort of spell work. Copyright, please. No. We got eight of cups. So somebody's regretting walking away from a situation because you move forward. You may have known that this person was under some sort of spell. But something about this person's eyes. They may have dark onset eyes or something about the, their eyes that's not right. Somebody could have been eating lunch and... Uh, you may have seen something in somebody's eyes. Yeah, you blocked this person. Everything in your body, I'm, I'm here, mind and spirit. 
said this person had no soul. You were dealing with a soulless being. For some of you, you may have, I know it may sound funny, but some of you, you have an ancestor there that's, that possibly was eating with you and may have sent you some sort of download to block this person. Like you knew that this person was not no good for you. For some of you, this is a celebrity or a wannabe celebrity or something like that. I'm also hearing gang stalking. I lose control of my emotions blame and blame everything on you. Trickery. So somebody is getting gaslit. You could be arguing or somebody may want to come in and argue with you. This is somebody that you rejected. Or somebody that got rejected. They could be arguing over a spell not working. I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling like this is the police with the chariot here and the spell in reverse. Somebody could have been doing a stop justice spell. Why is the chariot here? Chariot. There's definitely an argument taking place and I'm hearing something about a Gemini. We got the Libra card as well. 666. So somebody's definitely into some dark shit. We got bad habits or uh, blocking your manifestation, a bad dream. Somebody keeps going back to toxic love, to, to toxic, uh, lower vibrational soulmates here. They're not learning a lesson. There may be a block party happening where you block this person, you unblock them. Y'all argue, you block, unblock. This person could have traveled towards you. They have some sort of addiction with all this, this negative energy. This person may carry a gun. They could be a part of a gang. Somebody could be wanted for the M word. This is giving me somebody having a stroke or a heart attack. Their heart is being weighed. This is the justice system. Somebody could fall out in court when they, when they get sentenced or something like that. Somebody is a natural psychic. Somebody has gifts here. This could be a dark empath is what I'm picking up. We got to pay attention to who calls you or who or what you see after you do your cleansing rituals. That's your soul tribe here. Somebody knew instantly. For some of you, you may have did like some sort of cleansing. This could have been like a cleansing of, of your intestines or something as well. When you did this cleansing or cord cutting, it could actually have been a saging or something of your, your home or your work. This person instantly came towards you again because they felt that cut off. I heard cut off, <laughs> cut off game is strong, strong. Why is the emperor here? This is, this is a little confusing to me. Okay. And I'm not surprised because we got fickle here in reverse. We got the seven of cups. We have aura in reverse. Somebody couldn't read your energy anymore. They couldn't read your energy anymore. Whoever this is that's doing spell work against you. It could be somebody that's all the way across the world. I'm hearing something about a contract. Why is... What is this here? Blockage, blockage is due to a lack of faith. Mind, body, and spirit isn't in sync. This is this emperor here. Because they were having sex with karmics. This is why. Divine beings, you can't do that because what happens is you take on that person's karma. You become disoriented. Somebody may feel lethargic, sick. If you slept with somebody uh, that hasn't healed, what will happen is you start taking on their ailments. Hold son. on. He can sense the uh, harshness in my voice. Okay, so why is the star card here? And my lighting is all messed up here. I don't really like it. I don't know how it looks on y'all end, but I don't like this lighting set up today. The star card. Keep moving forward. Okay, so some of you, you may have done an oracle reading at home regarding your divine, yep, regarding your divine counterpart. And it told you to keep moving forward. 
we have the star card here you could be an Aquarius this person could be an Aquarius somebody's rebellious here somebody could also be very attractive to both masculine and feminine energies okay so somebody somebody was saying that they were going to do something but it was a lie and this is why we got fickle here somebody was indecisive this emperor they could have hooked up with a celebrity or yeah this emperor could be a celebrity but what i'm getting is they hooked up possibly with somebody younger this is giving me music industry all over the place here I'm hearing one more run, one more run. No risk, no fun. Why is this here? Somebody didn't know somebody was a baby witch or practicing witch. I'm hearing this person should have kept moving for false. I'm really gay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so for some of you, your emperor. Or this could be a father, a child's father, or something like that. It may even be your father that slept with someone younger, or they like to sleep with younger people. This person is gay. Somebody younger could have asked out a father figure is also what I'm getting. They didn't know that this person was 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 gay. I do feel like somebody called someone and ask them out there may have been a uh, initial first date but some somebody could be bisexual too i feel like this person prefers the same sex we got bad we got business deal goes bad low profit margin someone gets taken for a ride a lick mm. so somebody could like catfish a celebrity oh somebody went to papa legba Baron Somdi or something like that. Street credit. An increase. Manifesting. Time to clean house. Psychic infertility. Somebody could be making terrorist threats. Or they were. Via the phone call. A phone call could have happened. Somebody could have sent somebody to somebody's house. Or to a restaurant. Somebody's tracking somebody's location. Somebody definitely uses candle magic here. I'm hearing a hybrid. I don't know if that's a car or what. So whoever this emperor is could be a father figure, but it could be a business owner. They may have went. This is weird, y'all. They may have went. I'm hearing something about a record deal. They may have went and and tried to sign somebody or something like that. Because this emperor is not giving me gay whoever that they were trying to sign or whoever they were collaborating with was trying to set them up here illusion somebody couldn't could have got married to hide the fact that they are into the same sex i'm hearing a beard the world card a cycle was complete Somebody wasn't paying attention to their surroundings. It has something to do with somebody's home. Somebody could be tapping into somebody's Wi-Fi hotspot or something like that. This person, they're not able to tap into, they're not able to. Interesting. They're not able to observe you anymore. I don't know if somebody has CCTV or maybe they were tapping into your phone. You know how that go. We got law of reflection. You are the company you keep. Somebody's dealing with a hacker. And here go the landfill card. Somebody's trying to get rid of some sort of evidence. Or they wanted somebody to dump you or whoever this is. Contradiction. Very good. Don't try to justify an irrational decision. An irrational decision. Stop making excuses. Oh my goodness. For some of you, this could be somebody's son what okay so somebody's son 
has a lot of women, but they're hiding the fact that they are gay. Somebody's being haunted. Oh, okay. Okay, now it's making sense. Somebody's child could be a celebrity or an up-and-coming celebrity. They could have a producer that's older here. Someone got upset because they got dumped here. Okay, this could be a female that got upset with somebody's son because their son is bi or they're really gay. And somebody feels offended by that. Somebody could have got rid of like a spell at a crossroads near a landfill or a dumpster is also what I'm getting. You are the company you keep. So somebody let go of somebody because they sensed that their aura was bad like funky or something 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 is not right like somebody has an odor this girl will change the world here third party what is this you could be seeing one 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 angels are supporting you as you move forward okay for some of you this is your divine masculine but this may be his child are you if you are a divine masculine this is your child you may be noticing that your child is lethargic or something. Somebody does mushrooms or they do something. I'm hearing lucid dreaming. But this, this person may, it could be the ease. could be lean or something. There's something that they're doing. I'm hearing something about the speedball. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? There could have been an argument because somebody confronted. Uh, somebody confronted. Oh my God. A mother speaks the truth. Somebody confronted someone about an offer. Or somebody gave somebody something. Somebody could have seen. Okay. Somebody could have seen like a, a business transaction here. Somebody may be observing their child. Like something about their eyes is not right. Somebody could have testified in court also. They could have got paid to lie in court. Somebody could have got sworn in also. If you're doing jury duty or something like that. We got radiate positive. I've been getting this for the last couple of days. This could actually be a case. Uh, I'm hearing a domestic violence case or something like that. Could be have has something to do with shooting or the, the police or the FBI. I don't I don't know. Wire tapping, a car accident actually happened. Somebody got upset because they got rejected here. And somewhere, somewhere here, somebody's being investigated because they are in a cult or they do witchcraft or something like that. Okay, what is Ace Ace of Swords? Why is this here? And you know what? I'm here. This person watches me. And this would be somebody that's constantly, look at this, on my channel. I'm here and they try to persuade people to not watch tarot. Somebody's gaining clarity off of this reading. Even though it, it don't make shit to me, you could you don't it don't it don't make shit to me. It don't make sense to me. Somebody is a seer. They could also use a crystal, uh, crystal ball, or they didn't want somebody to think clearly. That's what I'm getting. They didn't want somebody to think clearly. Somebody wanted people to see you in a negative light. They could have said that tarot was works of the devil, but they are actually a devil worshiper. Somebody sold their soul for fame here. You may be seeing 444. Your hard work is paying off. Three of Cups. Why is this here, please? Yes. Divine Feminine. You have a couple that's working against you. You're going to gain some sort of enlightenment here. Something is being delayed. A new beginning is being delayed. Somebody's taking on somebody else's karma in this situation. I do not feel like it's my divine feminine. And we got the Ogun card. Because you be, you're being protected against this energy vampire. This is somebody that's watching you. Or they watch all the readings you watch. This could be co-workers or something. Look at this. They're, they're receiving karma. So this is somebody that possibly does work 
on people's mental state. Yeah, they do work. We got the Archangels card. They do work on elect ones, like certain tarot readers. Some of you, you can't watch certain tarot readers because you know when these people have, you know when these people have done whatever they do here. For some of you, this is somebody that wants to stay in a partnership that is no longer uh, covered by the divine or it never was because somebody's ungrateful. 333 is significant. Somebody's upset because you moved on. This may also be someone that is doing spell work to get you in a false relationship. We got the tarot in reverse. Okay, so somebody's child's mother, child's father is talking against tarot because they're being found out. This person is working with three or more people here. Okay, somebody's finances. So somebody is being burdened. They may spend a lot of money on uh, spells and them themselves. They may even be getting readings here. A truth may have been revealed through a reading. This person may also use a crystal ball to like try to peer into your home or something. They can no longer do that. I'm actually seeing, it's really funny. I'm actually seeing somebody sitting there with a crystal ball too. Yeah. Hot and ready. Okay, Papa, here I come. Hot and ready. Hey, <laughs> he want hot and ready. <laughs> hot and ready. Hold on, y'all. Okay, let me end it here. Somebody's getting hot some clarity. They're cutting off something that is burdening them. All right. I hope I gave you clarity. Duty. Duty. <laughs> that could be somebody's name. He just left out. That could be somebody's name. He said hot and ready. Somebody hot and ready, baby. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look. Look at this. So your ancestors, your angels, universal life force source. A passed over relative, Archangel Sandifon. Some of you, you have a passed over relative that's giving you some sort of spiritual gift here. You were dealing with somebody that lacks compassion. So you were praying and you received some sort of clarity. Some of you, you're seeing a lot of flashing lights. You were praying and you got an answer about someone that was a soulless being. If this is not you, this is a divine masculine that's going through this. Somebody can't figure out it's giving me children. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but somebody's child, this could be a grown child, may have sold their soul for fame. And they're not speaking the truth here. Somebody could have had a heart attack or a stroke or they were trying to make someone have a heart attack or a stroke. This passed over loved one could have died from a heart attack or a stroke. I'm also hearing an aneurysm with trouble in mind. There could have been something about labs is not right. Something about labs is not right or some report is not right. Somebody was framed. Child support. So somebody could be fighting a child support case as well. This person could have had a heart attack or a stroke. They may have even tried to set someone up. There could be an argument about that because this person was... A, for some of you, this is a child's father is in this reading, some shape, form, or fashion, fashion. I'm hearing an absent father. They could have been paying for spell work. You could have stopped having sex with this person. Somebody may be testifying in court. I'm here, I'm be to you. All right, I hope I gave you clarity, deuces.